What's up guys, we're back again with another video and today we're going to be talking about a full four week routine for my intermediate calisthenics athletes. This four week routine is going to be split into two weeks. One week is going to be upper body routines and second week is going to be the typical bodybuilder split such as chest and tries, back and buys and legs. Before getting into the full four week program, prerequisites for intermediate routines is at least 10 to 15 clean pull-ups, 5 muscle-ups, 30 push-ups, and 25 dips. If you're good with all those prerequisites, then you can continue watching this routine. So let's begin with the first week. So let's begin with your first week, which you're going to start on Monday. Your first set is going to be one muscle-up, 15 straight bar dips, 10 pull-ups without dropping or dropping, doesn't matter. And then 20 diamond push-ups. You're going to rest two minutes and repeat this set four to five times. After you repeat this set four to five times, you'll take a five minute break and then continue with the workout. Next up, you have 15 regular dips followed by 10 pull-ups. You're going to rest two minutes between each set. Repeat this four times, but for each time, switch the pull-up grip. So if you did standard the first set, you either do close grip, wide grip, or commando grip. Your buyout set is going to be six to eight tricep headbangers with five full leg raises, clean form. This is going to be a super set with minimum rest between each set. A buyout set is a set you do before you leave the park or the place you're working out at. Tuesday of the first week is going to be your rest day. Wednesday of the first week, it's going to be another upper body routine where you're going to start with 5 muscle ups, 50 dips, 30 pull ups, 60 push ups, and then 5 muscle ups again. You're going to try to get this routine under 20 minutes, but you have to do it as fast as you can. Don't worry about the time. After you do this set, you're going to move on to one pull up, one knee tuck, one full leg raise, and one pull up without dropping from the bar. Then you're going to do two pull ups, two knee tucks, two full leg raises, and two pull ups without dropping from the bar. You're going to try to go up to four or five.
Now for this day, the buyout set is going to be five pull-ups, one muscle-up, 10 dips, five pull-ups, and 20 push-ups. If you still have energy, do that three times. Thursday of the first week is going to be leg day and you're gonna do 500 squats as fast as you can with 100 calf raises. Friday of the first week is going to be a rest day. Saturday is going to be on the minute, every minute training and isometric training. So you're gonna start off with 10 push-ups on the minute, every minute for 20 minutes. After you're done, you're going to rest five minutes and you're gonna move on to five pull-ups on the minute, every minute for 10 minutes. Then you have an isometric set where you're going to do five pull-ups 10 second hold over the bar, 10 second hold under the bar, 10 second dead hang, and then one pull up. You're going to rest 90 seconds between this set and you're going to repeat three times. Then you could finish off the day with the tricep and leg raise superset. Sunday is going to be a light day and it's also gonna be an optional day if you feel like you have more energy. So you're going to do the five minute drill, which is 50 pull-ups and 100 push-ups as fast as you can. You're going to do the pull-ups first and then the push-ups. Then you can also do five minute of abs. So you could do L-sit holds, knee raises from side to side, or windshield wipers. So let's continue with the second week, which is going to start on a Monday. And this is gonna be a chest and triceps day. You're gonna start off with one muscle up, 30 straight bar dips, 30 push ups, and repeat that five times. You're going to rest two minutes between the sets. For that set, your first push up variation is going to be standard, followed by diamond, decline, incline, and then wide for a total of five sets. Next up, you got isometric dips. So you're gonna hold the dip position 10 seconds on parallel bars. Then you're gonna go down five seconds, hold five seconds, and then back up. You're going to aim for three to five reps. If you can do it without dropping, that's perfect. You're going to rest 60 seconds between each dip set. Next up, you have an isometric push-up routine. So you're gonna hold the push-up position for 30 seconds and then do 15 push-ups. You're going to rest 30 seconds. You're gonna hold the push-up position for 30 seconds again, and then you're gonna do 20 push-ups. You're gonna repeat this two times. Tuesday of the second week is going to be a rest day. Wednesday of the second week, you're going to do legs, which is again gonna be 500 squats. Thursday of the second week is going to be a back and by day. So you're gonna start off with one pull up one time, two pull up two times, three pull ups three times, all the way up to five as fast as you can. After this set, you're going to rest five minutes and then you're gonna continue the workout with knee tuck pull-ups. You're going to do five knee tuck pull-ups, hold five seconds over the bar, then dead hang in the chair position for 10 seconds. 
you're going to rest 60 seconds between each of these sets and you're going to repeat this five times after you complete this you're going to do five pull-ups one muscle up five pull-ups you're going to repeat this four times and rest 90 seconds between each set the last two sets are going to be close grip chin ups to the chest you're gonna go negative down so five pull ups like that repeat that five times and you're gonna rest 60 seconds then you're gonna max out with Australian pull ups try to aim for 50 plus Saturday of the second week it's going to be a chest and try day so you're gonna start off with 50 push-ups, ideally in a row. If you can't do it in a row, it's fine. Then you're gonna follow with five muscle-ups. You're going to rest 60 seconds. After that, you're going to do 40 push-ups, five muscle-ups. You're going to rest two minutes. Then you're gonna go down. 30 push-ups, five muscle-ups again, rest 90 seconds. 20 push-ups, five muscle-ups, rest three minutes, and then you're on 10 push-ups, five muscle-ups, and then you're on to the next set. The next set is going to be on the minute, every minute, 10 push-ups, on the minute, every minute for 20 minutes. You're going to rest as long as you want, and you're gonna finish off the day with tricep skull crushers. Sunday of the second week is going to be an optional day and it's going to be the five minute routine which is 50 pull ups and 100 push ups and legs. So after you finish the two weeks you're going to repeat the same two weeks. So if you did upper body routine the first week and the bodybuilder split the second week you're going to repeat the third week is going to be the upper body routine and then the fourth week is going to be the bodybuilder split. My final advice for you guys is to do these routines with as clean form as possible. The rest time does not have to be exactly what I said, but make sure you're around those numbers. Make sure to give me feedback and tell me if it was too easy or too hard. I'll see you guys in the next video. Sorry. Peace. Peace.